Hi, welcome to eSewingWorkshop.com. I'm Nehzat. In this video, we will learn about the differences between the metric and imperial measuring systems and why we use the metric system at eSewing Workshop. The metric system is easier, more accurate, and will save you a lot of time compared to the imperial system when sewing and drafting patterns. For those of you who are new to the metric system, we will explain how easy it is to use and why it is used in most countries around the world. Let's begin. <music> Here we will talk about distances or lengths when comparing the imperial and metric systems of measurement. The imperial system uses inches as a space unit for length. The metric system uses centimeters. The foot as a unit of measurement originated in Egypt, then borrowed by the Greeks, was adopted by the Romans, and later by the English. The modern imperial system still in use today was standardized in the medieval times and adjusted further in the 18th century. The imperial system is based on nature and was well suited for an agricultural society. But the metric system has taken its place in most countries around the world. In 1791, the French government commissioned a group of scientists to create a new and easy way to measure distances weights and mass. Today the metric units are widely used around the world for personal, commercial and scientific purposes. With the exception of the United States, Liberia in Africa and Burma or Myanmar in Asia. The metric system has been used around the world for more than 200 years. Before this there was not a standard unit of measurement between different countries. This made trade difficult. Today in the U.S., the metric system is used alongside the imperial system in many areas, such as when labeling liquids like sodas or in car speedometers. The metric system is not just accurate, but it's also very easy to use since unlike the imperial system, there is no need to use fractions to measure distances less than a centimeter. In the past, this device was used to calculate fractions when measuring in inches. We can buy measuring tapes or rulers that have inches on one side and centimeters on the other. This ruler has inches and centimeters as well. Inches are divided into 8, 16 or 32 equal sections, whereas centimeters are divided into 10 equal sections called millimeters. The longer lines mark the whole numbers, these short lines mark the millimeters and the midpoint is a little longer. From this line to this line is 10 millimeters, therefore the midpoint is 5 millimeters. One inch is exactly 2.54 centimeters. In the metric system, 10 millimeters make a centimeter, 100 centimeters make a meter. Millimeters and centimeters are written in lowercase. MM stands for millimeter and CM stands for centimeter. Lowercase m stands for meter, lowercase k and m stands for kilometers. One kilometer is a thousand meters. Make sure to always measure from the first line, not the edge of the ruler, unless the line is at the edge. Next we will learn how to measure in inches and centimeters. In inches, if a distance is not a whole number, it will be read as a fraction of an inch. We will measure these three lines between the marks. Now we measure from here to here. This line in inches is two and a half inches long. We write it down.
Now for this line. This line is 5 and 3 quarter inches. And this one is 7 and 5 sixteenths of an inch. Now we will measure the lines in centimeters. This line is 6 centimeters and we count the millimeters. 1, 2, 3 and 4. 6.4 centimeters. We write fractions of a centimeter in decimals, so all we need to do is write 6.4 centimeters. Indicating the decimal with a point. This only works because each centimeter is divided into 10 sections. Unlike the imperial system, where an inch is divided into 8 sections. Therefore, anything less than a whole number is written down in fractions for the imperial system. We continue measuring in centimeters. This line is 14 centimeters and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 millimeters. 14.6 centimeters. And this line is 18.123456 millimeters, 18.6 centimeters. If we need to add these numbers in inches, we would have to be comfortable adding fractions. However, to add the measurements in the metric system, we can use a calculator and add the numbers easily. To add these measurements, we need to add two and a half inches to five and three quarters and seven and five sixteenths. Two, five, and seven are the whole numbers. And these are the fractions. The number above the fraction line is the numerator, and below the line is the denominator. First, we need to make all the denominators the same. Since 16 is the largest denominator, we need to make this denominator and this one the same as 16. To make 2 into 16, we need to multiply it by 8. But we need to multiply the numerator the number above the fraction line by 8 as well. Here to make 4 into 16 we multiply it by 4. So we multiply 3 by 4 as well. One times eight is eight. Two times eight is sixteen. Just like this denominator. Three times four is twelve. And four times four is sixteen. Now that all the denominators are the same, we can add up our numbers. First, we add the whole numbers. 2 plus 5 plus 7 equals 14 inches. 2 plus 5 plus 7 equals 14 inches. Next, we add the fractions. 
The denominator stays the same. It is 16. The numerators will be added together. Adding 8 to 12 and 5, we get 25. Twenty-five over sixteen is an improper fraction because the numerator is larger than the denominator. To correct the fraction, we subtract the denominator from the numerator. Twenty-five minus sixteen is nine. We cross out twenty-five and write nine above it. Next, we add one to our whole number. Fourteen plus one is fifteen. Cross out fourteen and write fifteen above it. If the denominator fits multiple times in the numerator, we need to deduct the denominator from the numerator multiple times until it is less than the denominator. For each time we do this, we add 1 to the whole number. So the total is 15 and 9 sixteenths of an inch. Now we will add the numbers for centimeters. Because we are not dealing with fractions, we can easily use a calculator. 6.4 centimeters plus 14.6 centimeters plus 18.6 centimeters will give us 39.6 centimeters. If we wanted to subtract, multiply and divide any numbers in the metric system, it would be just as simple using the calculator. Next, we will look at when to round up or down. When working with centimeters, we may end up with a number with two or more digits after the decimal point. For example, when we divide 8.5 centimeters by 3, we get 2.833 centimeters. In this case, we round the number down to 2.8 centimeters. For our purposes, we need only to deal with the first two numbers after the decimal point. If the second digit after the decimal point is less than 5, we round down. If it's 5 or more, we round up. Here are a few examples for when we round up or down. Here are some examples when rounding up gives us a new whole number without a decimal. As you can see, using the metric system is easy and very convenient, and this will help avoid mistakes when calculating measurements. Keep in mind that we all use the metric system every day when we spend money. Our currency uses the decimal system as well, so just like 100 cents make a dollar, 100 centimeters make a meter. If our currency was based on a fractional system, it would be very hard to deal with. I hope this video helps answer some of your questions regarding the metric system.